hey guys good morning thank you for coming back to my channel i really appreciate it um nothing much just wanted to give you guys an update to let you guys know that the power did come back on about five o'clock this morning and so um i'm just opening up my blinds and i'm getting me and my son something to eat we're gonna do breakfast sandwiches because i'm still pretty tired i kind of like kept getting up checking on him making sure he was okay you know because we was okay we had everything it's just it had got um, real cold in here when the power went out it got cold i want to say i want to say about 30 35 minutes after the power went out it got it got really chilly and then it's got the temperature dropped at night so i just got up i mean he had enough covers and stuff on him he didn't want to put on a lot of clothes because he sweats so um but he was okay he was snoring throughout the night he was doing perfectly fine i was warm once i got up under my comforter and my um thrower i was really warm with my socks and stuff on too and my um my jogging pants and my shirt and my socks and stuff i was really warm but when you get from under the cover it was cold so i noticed in my sleep that the heat came on around five o'clock and i kept saying to myself i said that's the heat and so I woke up, and yes, that was the heat, and all the lights were on. I had to get up and turn the lights off, and I had to um, get my landerins and my flashlights and stuff, turn those off and put those up, and cut off all the lights and everything that was on, and the heat popped back on, thank God. So, just wanted to give you guys an update. Yep, about 5 o'clock, and I heard them last all last night. They was working really hard. I, it must have happened somewhere real close to my building. Something must have happened. I don't know what yet. But um, I heard them out there all last night working. And they was talking and they was working. So I really appreciate that. But like I said, I'm just right now. I just want to give you guys a quick update to let you know that the power did come on. Back on at 5 o'clock. It's really warm in here now. Thank God. I'm just getting us some breakfast. And we're doing breakfast sandwiches. Thank God. I bought, I always try to keep those Bob Evans breakfast sandwiches that we like on hand. So I'm just heating up my son's. I already did mine's. So what I'm going to do when I get done, I'm just going to, um, that's what we eating. Breakfast sandwiches, Bob Evans. And I got my, um, vitamins that I usually take every day. But yeah, when I get done, only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go take me a nice hot shower, brush my teeth. I'm going to lay back down for about two hours and I'm going to um, get back up and wash our clothes, you know, do our laundry. And then I'm going to start dinner. And then I'm going to have the rest of my day to myself to just relax, you know. But like I said, we had everything that we needed. It's just... Like I said in my previous video, if you watched it when the power went out last night, yesterday, Sunday, today is um, March 15, Monday, March 15, so 2021. So, um, like I said, when it went off yesterday around 8 o'clock, it was just unexpected. I didn't know what was going on. At first, I thought it was a few that blew or something, but no, the lights went completely out. So we had everything we needed. It's just like I said, I wish I had a generator because I could have kept our phones charged up, which it was all our phones was like on 100 percent. So we didn't really try to use it that much. I just called my mom to check on her, but she had lights and a lot of other people that I knew in my area had lights. It's just down on in my area because I'm like some of my family members, I'm like 30, 45 minutes away from them or whatever on their on their end where I live, where they live at. But we all in the same city. But on one side of the city, everybody had lights. And on the other side where I'm at, they did not have lights. So that she was okay. She was just worried about me. And I told her, we're okay. It just, you know, we didn't have no heat. But when we got up under our covers and stuff and had our clothes, our comfortable clothes, when we was okay. And she couldn't really sleep because her acid reflex was messing, messing up. And the pharmacy didn't even have her... Um, you know her medicine and that her doctor called in about a week ago they haven't even had it in yes so i told my mom what you may have to do we're gonna have to find you something over the counter to take instead you know until your prescription is ready because they have over the counter um medicine for acid reflex so she was dealing with that for for about a 
for about a week now. And so she finally went to sleep when I called her around 5.30. She finally went to sleep because she had some ginger ale she drunk. So I'm just hoping she'll be able to get some rest. And like I said, I'm just going to take me a hot shower, brush my teeth. I'm going to lay down two hours, get back up, do our laundry. I'm going to cook. And then I'm going to relax because I think it was a show or a movie or something that I missed yesterday. I wasn't worried about the Grammys. I'm not a, I don't know. I stopped watching Grammys years ago. I'm not a big fan, you know, but, um, it was a movie or something I think I missed yesterday. And so I'm going to try to, you know, watch that. I have demand. It should be on demand now. So I'm going to watch that and just relax and enjoy the rest of my day when I get back up and wash and cook. So, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Like I said, hey, this is why we prep. We make sure we have everything that we need so things like this happen. And last night I went back online before I went to sleep and I saw that um, a generator from, I think it was... I think it was Go Zero, because I told you guys I wanted to get one from either Go Zero, or the Blue Yeti, Go Zero, one of them, but they have been out of stock every time I checked for the last month. But I think the Go Zero, one of them that I was looking at, one I was looking at two. One of them that I want is out of stock, and the other one is in stock. But then when I went to Blue Yeti trying to get that one, that's, that's what I really wanted. Um, that one is still um, out of stock, so hopefully they'll be able to get it in pretty soon. If not, I'm going to have to opt out for it to get the one that was like $6.99. I don't know, but I'm going to have to get something because, like I said, you never know when you may have a power outage in your city. You just want to be prepped as much as you can. Of course, you're not going to be able to be prepped for every single thing, but for the most part, you can make sure your family have food snacks water everything you need and you can make sure you have your covers make sure you have you know your cooling system just make sure you have you know your water filters you want to make sure you have your generators have everything that you can so you guys i'm not telling you what to do with your money that's not my type of you know style but if you are getting a um stimulus check and you know the rs is still processing checks as well make sure you invest into some preps at least three to six months worth of preps different preps get invest in a generator water filter just make sure you have the most important things that you need because you just never know and also i notice that when i talk to family members and some friends and neighbors they don't even have flashlights and landerins i mean stock up on your batteries i only buy batteries when it's on sale at costco's and sounds club which I just went on there last night again. They have, um, they have, you know, it's on sale batteries, and you get like 48 in a pack. So invest in, in bat, have a, extra batteries. Every time you see them on sale or whatever, you can even go to the Dollar Tree and get batteries. They work really well too. It just, hey, when the big box stores have them on sale, I try to grab a pack every time if I have the funds. Also, um, have your flash, good flashlights. Have landings. At least have two landerins or two flashlights around so you can have some type of light especially when you have children children kids are kind of you know they don't want to be in the dark you know unless it's kind of like a camping situation but and then you want to be able to have something to charge up your your phone and um your tablets and stuff you know and then i had a i had a um i have a radio i have a weather radio that if I had wanted to, I could have went and pulled that out and just listened. But I was just on my phone, you know, until I fell asleep or whatever. But, um, yeah, invest into some preps. Invest in um, a generator. And just get your most important items that you need. Always make sure you have extra bottles of um, water. Have extra bottles of water and different other drinks that you like. Because just like now... It's still, it's March. I'm in Ohio, and it's March. If I had one or two, if I didn't have, like, drinks already cold in a refrigerator, I could just set any any of these drinks, I can just set them out on my balcony, and they would get cold, you know. So just keep your, you know, definitely your waters. If you don't have anything else, the drinks are just something I added, I added bonus but definitely you want to keep your bottles of water, get you a water filter. And guys, right here, I'm very frugal. I pay my money and I want all my product, okay? 
So when these get down low, I always turn them upside down in my bathroom, kitchen, whatever. And I'm probably going to try to use the rest of these today. But um, yeah, I want all my product. I turn everything upside down to get the rest of my um, hand soaps or, or body washes and stuff out of there. So these are the refills hand soap. So you can see it's a lot left in there. So yeah, I'm going to try to use the rest of those today because I'm constantly washing my hands anyway. That's just me. Even before any type of... um pandemic or whatever i'm always washing my hands guys so but i'm not gonna talk too much i just want to give you guys that quick update um i will talk to you guys later i'm still gonna get out that walmart video for you guys probably just not today but probably tomorrow or either definitely this week okay guys so um take care take care of yourself and your family and um like i said when you get your refunds and your stimulus checks invest in preps at least do two to three months if you don't want to do three to six months have some preps consider um investing in a, in a generator it don't have to be a huge one it can be just a, a generator enough to charge up your phones your tablets maybe a small appliances if you need it or either a heater or something also you want to make sure you have extra cases of water non-perishable foods a water filter you want to make sure you have ethic extra um just extra just focus on the important things that you need okay guys so um i will talk to you all later like i said i'm definitely gonna get out that walmart video i promise you guys um if not today definitely this week okay so take care and stay safe and i'll talk to you all in the next video okay bye 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 bye